Hey there, Jane. Well, Ali Hassan Al-Majid, or Chemical Ali, as you said, he's much better known by his nom de guerre. His nickname was sentenced to death today. It's all in connection with uh, the murders of thousands of Shiites who tried to revolt against Saddam Hussein back in 1991. Chemical Ali, as you may recall, was commander of Iraqi forces in the south of the country. And during the Iraqi occupation of Kuwait, he was named by Saddam Hussein as the ruler of Kuwait, the governor of Kuwait during that time. Kuwait, of course, regarded as the 19th province in Iraq by Saddam Hussein. This is not his first death sentence, rather bizarrely. He's already been sentenced for his part in the massacre of Kurds, which happened in the late 80s. That sentence was not carried out while this trial went on. This trial, Jane, has been going on since late 2007. Only today are we getting the verdict. Hmm. Will one of these sentences be carried out? What happens next? Well, there's still an appeals process to go through now that this uh, sentence has been delivered. As we saw in the Saddam Hussein trial, there are set procedures in place in the Iraqi legal code for his lawyers to appeal this decision if he chooses to do so. But the criminal proceedings against Chemical Ali are not over yet. In fact, he still has to go on trial for the assassination of uh, Muqtada al sadrs father back in 1999. That's something that the Shiites want to see him tried for as well. So I think there's little um, chance that uh, the first death sentence will be carried out, never mind the second one, although of course he can only be killed once, but both uh, rolled into one before this third court proceeding is over and done with. Mm -hmm. David McDougall in Baghdad for us. David, thank you.